Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon. How to compress a video file. With a properly compressed video, you'll be able to upload or download it faster, and in some cases playback will be smoother. This is all without noticeably impacting the quality of the video at all. Compressing reduces the file size of a video so it takes up less space on your hard drive. For example, a 100 megabyte video can be compressed down into an 8 megabyte video with no visible difference, and we'll show you how to do it. Handbrake is one of the easiest and best programs out there for video compression. It's also free and open source. So simply search up Handbrake and we're going to click this first link here or you can go to handbrake.fr. And then you go ahead and download that. Now once you've installed Handbrake, you're going to want to drag and drop the file over or click this open file button. Now that you have your file loaded in, we're going to click web optimized here. This will help with YouTube and online playback. You don't need to do anything in these two tabs here. We'll keep the settings mostly at default. Then over here on the video tab, we're going to change the frame rate to same as source and set it to a constant frame rate. And we'll go ahead and change the quality to 23 RF. So this moves the RF value just up one. This will give you a lower quality, but a smaller file size. And if you turn the slider to the right, you'll get a better quality, a lower number, but a larger file size. We'll go ahead and optimize the video to slow. If we just hover over the, the bar here and see the tooltip, you should generally set this option to the smallest you can bear since slower results will result in better quality or smaller files. You don't need to do anything for the audio, subtitles, or chapters tabs unless you wanted to, of course. But right now we're just strictly compressing the video. So we need to give it an output file now. So go ahead and hit browse down in the bottom right. And we'll go ahead and find a place and call it compressed file, for example. We'll save that there in our videos. And then we have to hit the start encode button. And that'll go ahead and encode it for us. And you can see the progress down in the lower left here. And it looks like we have about a minute until it's done. And I'll go ahead and come back right after that minute. And we're back and it says Q finished. So if you look back in our folder here, we'll find our compressed file. We can go ahead and right click it and hit properties. And you can see that the size on it is a little less than 10 megabytes. Whereas before it was 80 megabytes, now after compression, after encoding, we now have a less than 10 megabyte video. So that was a significant reduction in file size. And of course you can reduce the file size even further if you bump up the RF value. Here are some more comparisons with varying RF values. For me though, 23RF works in most cases and works the best for me. What other programs are essential to your PC? Thanks for watching! If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel.